All right. Hey guys, Dow Phoenix, and we're gonna be playing the hell out of some Star Fox, one of the greatest Super Nintendo games of all time. And why are we playing Star Fox? Well, it's because Star Fox Zero, the first real Star Fox game in like 10 plus years, um, we finally got a new Star Fox, people. And it's awesome that we have a new Star Fox. So, to commemorate, we're going to Let's Play the original Star Fox. It's been quite a while since I've played this, but it used to be pretty dang good at this game. Um, so we're not gonna bother with the training or nothing like that, we're just gonna get straight to it. Um, we're just gonna do easy path, just make it nice and easy, you know? But, one of the interesting things about this one versus, like, the other ones is, uh... You have those paths you could choose, but... Then you can divert to... I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm being stupid. You can obviously do that in Star Fox 64 and all this stuff. I don't have any clue what I'm talking about here. So, like I said, it's been such a long time since I played the original Star Fox. I mean, I played Star Fox 64 not that long ago. A few years ago, maybe. On the Wii. But uh, it's been such a long time since I played the original. So I figured now is the best time as any to revisit it. So hopefully you guys like the scan lines and all that cool stuff that I have implemented in the emulator to give it more of a TV look. Uh, playing this in 60 frames a second so that you get the full uh, 15 frames a second fidelity of this game. <laughs> um, it, like literally this is probably one of the only Super Nintendo games that you don't need to play in 60 frames on YouTube but it actually looks pretty nice in going this fast you know like on the uh, SNES 9X, baby. Get some nice, crisp-looking gameplay here. So anyways, Corneria is obviously always the starting place. You know, it's supposedly the home of the Star Fox people or something. I don't know exactly how the story goes, but kill that guy so we can get points. So yeah, points are always nice. Let's break up these robots. They're just trying to be good robots, trying to, you know, carry construction gear around, and Star Fox is there to destroy their party, you know, just... Ah. Uh, good times, right? Uh, one thing that's really funny about Slippy in this game, he's like rip, 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 rip. you know, he's got like a nice deep voice. But, um... Interestingly enough, on all the other Star Fox games, Slippy is like a whiny little girl character. But he's like obviously a very gruff and older guy, you know, older robot guy, robot frog guy, um, in this one. So I'm thinking it's just a completely new Slippy, like this Slippy or whatever, you know. Yeah. Or I don't know, maybe the, maybe maybe the original Star Fox on the Super Nintendo takes place after all the other games. That's why Slippy is all old and gruff sounding. It's because Slippy's done with this crap, you know. It's them being so optimistic and whiny. Uh, he's like, eh, let's just get this mission over with. Let's just kill Andros yet again. Why not? So, uh, that's my theory on that, at least. Let's, why not? Let's run into that barrier. I forgot if you actually can get the power up or not on the first level. I think I might have screwed it up if you can. Let's have to shoot this guy. I think maybe I do. It's hard to aim, though, you know, like. Yeah. Just so hard to aim. Back in this game, man. I used to be so good at it, though. I used to play Star Fox on the Super Nintendo all the time. The legit Super Nintendo. I remember I got it, I think, around Christmas of 93. At least I'm pretty sure I got it at Christmas time. I remember playing it a shitload during Christmas time, so I imagine that's when I got it, but... Yeah. I really like how it introduces the boss. It makes it sound all super epic, even though his boss is the easiest boss in the entire game. He's easier than some enemies. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know, you can just tear the, tear the crap out of this guy, you know? And he's like, not even much of a threat. I mean, sure, you can get hit by those little balls, but you don't even need to bother dodging, you know? It's just so easy. Down like that, and there goes Corneria. But you can imagine, like, this was 1993 when this game came out. 
I mean, you didn't have anything remotely like this on the Super Nintendo. It was so mind-blowing. I mean, this game looked like something that you would play on, say, the Atari Jaguar or 3DO, you know, the game systems that actually had some 3D capabilities. <laughs> um, yeah, I just barely missed a score counter. I forget what the whole score thing is. I know you can get one-ups, but I don't know if it affects anything else I don't exactly remember. It's been such a long time. But I mean, back in the day, I beat this game in all the different modes. Oh, hells yes! This is one thing I'm really looking forward to in Star Fox Zero, is using the little freaking uh, motion pad to do this first-person cockpit stuff. This is like one of my favorite things for this game, dude, is this mode here. It's so immersive, you know, and it also gives the game a different feel. Because, like, it's kind of an arcade shooter in the first mission. And then this one, I mean, it's still got the same speed and everything, but it's more of a space sim. It's really cool. Really cool little feature that they added to this. Plus, I think that the game runs a little bit faster. Like, it runs a little bit smoother, it seems when you're in first person, because it's not actually rendering Star Fox's ship, so it's like, you know, it's just giving the SNES a little bit more of a breather, you know, so it goes a little bit... It's weird, because it goes faster, but it's more sim-ish, even though it's not. I mean, it's still the same exact game, and just in first person. But, if you really prefer, you can do this, and that's pretty nice, too. But I don't know, I just don't like it as much, at least not in the space missions. It's a lot harder to aim. I think that's why they make you do this in the space missions, because it's just a little bit easier to aim, you know? I guess a little bit easier to dodge in third person, so... You just gotta do what you think is appropriate. Okay, shoot that. There we go. Yeah, I'm never gonna get any weapon power-ups, I forgot how to even grab them, you know, it's... And you have to, like, destroy certain enemies and whatnot, you have to accomplish certain things in order to get the power-ups. It's not just like the game's like, here's a power-up for no reason. You actually have to earn it, kind of, in a way. I mean, this is obviously not that hard of a game, I can still do pretty good with just the one laser. It hurts when you do that. And by the time you get to the tougher missions, you always lose at least, like, one guy because the enemy is just wailing on him, you know? They're just relentless on how they kill him. Yeah. Ah, uh, boss time! This is a really classic boss here, man. I mean, they really all are. So I probably fought this boss probably like 60 times in my lifetime. That's how much I play this game, dude. It's great. Ah. Although I play it like someone that hasn't played it in forever, clearly. You know, like, I know this guy, yeah, that thing jet jettisons out, and holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I forgot how powerful that damage was. Yeah. That's awesome, though. So there goes Sector X or Z or whichever exact sector it was. Yes! Got a 1-up, and... You gotta really appreciate just how epic the music in this game is, man. It's crazy how good it is. This was a 16-bit Super Nintendo game. But it was just so epic. Oh, that wasn't even Sector X. That was just the Asteroid Mission. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now we gotta fight the Space Armada. Another space mission.
So this is another one where you could kind of go either or. I forget to start yet. I think the space missions are all like this, but like I said, you can switch it up whenever you feel like it. And that's really cool. I was kind of disappointed that, yeah, finally their power up. That it didn't seem like, it seemed like they just forgot that whole idea with Star Fox 64. And they just went straight arcade shooter, which that's fine, you know. Star Fox 64 is a great game, but. Nice, one up for free, baby. So shoot this ship here. It's really crazy how you can just destroy this ship, you know, it's awesome. But I'm also getting myself killed, and I don't want to damage myself too much because I'll lose my power up. But it's really cool how the game organically causes you to lose your power up. Like, you would take a little bit of damage, and it would, you know, mess it with your wings and stuff like that, which that's really cool. It wasn't like other games of this style where you just arbitrarily lost your power up, you know, because you got hit or some not so like that. It actually made sense on uh, why you lost your power up. Yeah, it could have been a lot easier to grab that if I went in third person, but yeah. Yeah, these little spaceship scenes are really cool. This is like reminiscent of like Star Wars or some shit like that, you know? Get power up there. That's a little... This is a weird one. It's like a shield power-up, but it makes your character look all wireframe and stuff. It's really weird how that works. Nice. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay, let me go into my wireframe mode. Oh, I forgot you can't actually do it in this mode. That's weird. I guess so you can see that you still have the power up or something. Yeah. No, you can, okay. I just, for some reason, it wasn't recognizing the input. Yeah, let's destroy that ship there. There we go. I think the shield just went out. Or it's about to go, yep, there it is. So let's you take a couple of free hits without taking any damage, which is pretty nice. Let's go on this ship now. Ah, should have stayed below. It's where it tricks you, man. You gotta really pay attention here. Couldn't grab this Nova bomb here. I haven't even used one yet, I don't think. Excuse me. I mean, I was kind of already had four. I think you max out at five. Or, I don't know, I forget. Well, it only shows five. I think you actually can get more. I think about it. So, yeah, let's get out of this explosion fest here. Really makes that uh, super FX chip chug along. Holy crap. That was not wise at all. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You actually have two different viewpoints for some reason here. I don't know why. Why do you need a more up-close uh, third-person view? Okay. Grab that uh, little gate there. Those are really interesting because it acts as both like a checkpoint as well as health. Oh, here's the big one now. Ooh, this is so creepy, man. So creepy. Okay, here we are. Yeah, shoot the gate so you tell it what direction you want it to go. Oh, shit. Just a bit too low. There we 
we go. We almost made it to the boss. Just a little bit further. You gotta imagine. I mean, this is obviously super primitive. But 1993, video games just did not do this, man. It was 2D, up and down, you know, nothing really advanced like this. This was, like, mind-blowing back in the day. And it's kind of weird saying it like that, because it's obviously very primitive nowadays. So blocky and primitive-looking, but it's just epic from back in this era. Yeah, such an easy boss, though. <laughs> so easy. I mean, I've still got it. This game is still so playable after all this time. Which is weird because of how slow-paced it is compared to the other Star Fox games. It doesn't have the fluidity, or fluidity, fluidity of motion that those other games did. I mean, if I was playing the actual Super Nintendo, it would be more slow and choppy. Like, the emulator, I think, kind of speeds it up a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, but it's a long time since I played on a Super Nintendo cart, though. So I, I could be mistaken there. Okay, so another meteor type mission. I find it really strange how, uh. You only have, like, four levels to go through. Or wait, I don't know. What was that about? There was like a star that just came for no reason. I wonder if I'm supposed to wait for it and then go in it for another level. I know that sounds kind of weird, but maybe. I don't know. I think something must happen with that star. I, it, well, I suppose it could just be for the hell of it, too. Good luck. Because, you know, you know how it is. Here we go. Yeah, you can't do the first person in the, uh, you know, the regular land missions. You can only do it in the uh, space missions, which that's kind of a bummer. But I think it makes more kind of sense for the land missions to be only in third. Ah, what happened? Something's going on here. Okay, that's weird. Not sure exactly what that was about, but uh, game kind of lost focus for just a sec. Oh yeah, these plat these these little pillars they kind of go a little bit fast. Uh, you notice the motion's a little bit smoother in this stage. It's right because there's, like, not as much stuff as there was in Corneria. Like, the draw distance seems a lot shorter, and... You know, it seems like, at this point, they realize, Oh, we're gonna make this stage kind of fast-paced. The only way we can do that is by taking stuff off the screen, essentially. You know, giving us less stuff on the screen to look at. Grab that free ship. Watch your aim, Fox. That's right. You think I'm gonna do that, Peppy? But yeah, it's kind of weird, crazy because Peppy was the annoying one in this game. You know, he it wasn't Slippy, it was Peppy. It's just so weird how their roles kind of changed. I guess Nintendo, for some reason, thought, well, you know what, the frog should be the annoying one and the rabbit should be the rough one. Like, someone at Nintendo thought that's what should happen, that they should make that decision to change it. Obviously, Falcon is the cool Maverick-type one, or Iceman. That's what he is, he's pretty much Iceman. 
let's see if this one, I think this one has a bomb, yep. Nice! Ah, dang it. Still hit the ground. Sorry, Slippy Galloway, stop flying next to this enemy. <laughs> uh, that's great. Good times. Oh, yeah, the little robot spider thing. You just gotta kinda keep dodging it up. You just gotta really keep hitting him, I think, if I remember right. Damage output's kind of low on this guy, honestly, you know, like, you have to really hit him. I think you're supposed to hit these red things whenever he's spinning around like that. Maybe. Shit! Lost my power. Okay, plus one of those out. That'll make things a lot easier, I'm sure. If I can hit him, geez, I can't hit him worth a crap. <laughs> there we go, much better. There goes a big boss. Keeping them alive for sure, man. Although the last planet is a little bit tough. There we go. And Venom, here we are. This is the one that we've been waiting for, folks. This is the planet to play. Let's see what you got, Andros. I still got my busted wing. That's another really cool touch, is that your character's damage, like, I know it's such a simple ass thing, but it's just really cool that they thought about that. Because obviously my health is healed, so, you know, the game did have some kind of programming to say, hey, give the player back their health. Um, but for whatever reason, they decided, you know, to still keep the damage of the ship. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a power-up, but it's a trick, actually. Kind of cool. The other thing that's really cool about the stage is this is like when you start off in outer space, and then you go to the planet. Really nice touch. Ah, suck it. Did I get? No, I dang it, I didn't grab it. Thank you. Got my wing repair. That'll work. Yeah, and they start coming out in different directions. And you just, this one, this one's gets kind of tough because it really uh, makes you move around a bit. Because they, you know, come from different directions. And it's still in these in this grand scheme of things this game is pretty easy compared to these types of games generally are these games are usually pretty tough 
Oh, yeah, that's a cool enemy right here. I like this boss. Dang it. If I, don't, if I stop getting hit by missiles, I could maybe eat this one out. I'm going to have to go into third person, I think, for this one here. Make the dodging a little bit better. Possibly. Holy shit, I'm getting hit like left and right now since I went in third person. <laughs> uh. Now it's time for stage six. Dang, I was hoping I would hit 50, but too late. He only gets, yeah. This is it. Good old Venom. Ah, shit! Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong freaking way. Okay. Grab the health. There we go. Let it be. Let it go that way. There we go. Let's go ahead and shoot this one now. Then get a free bomb. Nice. Nice. Oh no. It's the attack of the killer grass. <laughs> there you go. You're safe for now. Ah, that was not a good move at all. Sorry, Slippy, I didn't realize it was you. I thought that was an enemy. <laughs> Poor Slippy. There we go. It's always nice just to destroy one pillar. And you don't even with the other ones. Just slip right through here. Oh, but yeah, they reconstruct. Oh no, I've got to use this slide a little bit. Let's just take it. Got the checkpoint coming up, so. Ah, oh, dang it. That wouldn't seem to even hurt my character, though. Dang it. I wish I could get that freaking eye on Cannon, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. I, I thought you do get two power ups in Venom. Like, you actually can get the eye on Cannon here. Alright, let's see what you got this time. Yeah, it's like one you can hit and you can't hit the others or some of that. That's where they mix it up there. Oh, what you got now? What you got now? What you got now? Whew. Close. <laughs> oh, yeah, he turns into a giant robotic walker now. Why not? Okay, that sucks. Yeah, crash into the ground. That's more safe. What's he gonna do? Oh, he hopped right. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! He got me. First death. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it starts just right here. Okay, good. 
I'll still be able to get the power up even, that's nice. I don't know if these actually count as points or not, but I know, it's a stream. Alright, now we know what we need to do here. Okay, it's this one right here, I think. See what you got now. I think the sound cue from that is actually really cool. It sounds like uh, something from an early 80s sci-fi movie. Such a nice little touch. Okay, now we just got the drop down. There we go. That's all you gotta do there, baby. Suck it. Dang it. There we go. Yeah, it's getting pretty laggy there. This boss is a little bit tough, I'll admit. Like, compared to the other bosses that we faced at this point? Most definitely. Let's see what you got. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. That mess of polygons that he just launched at me. There we go. Dang it! Almost got me, dude. Almost got me, but not quite. Good thing I don't have my damage wing, at least. The damage wing sucks because you gotta have the maneuverability. Alright, so here it is, the time for the final confrontation. I'll definitely need some healing, though. Dang it. Dang it. Yes, I've got the freaking ion cannon. About time. Let's see what you got, Andros. Ooh, fancy polygons coming after me. Holy shit. Polygons everywhere. This is some freaking lawnmower man shit right here, man. Destroy a bunch of polygons. So this is how Andros fights you. He tries to tank your Super Nintendo frame rate. <laughs> so I can't have Star Fox kill him in here. Okay. Let's go ahead and launch one of these babies. There we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything with those blocks, though. It'd be nice if it did. But you can't see shit, you know, because, like, the bomb goes off and makes everything white and blend in. You think, oh, the bomb destroys stuff, you know, but it doesn't there. Clearly. Oh, well. Oh, 
get him. I needed some fresh help anyways. Our wings have no chance against. It's only Star Fox fighting you. Where's the other guys? That guy's like, yeah, you got this, Fox. You can take him out. Uh, yeah, we already got one eye down. Honestly, I think it's easier without the eye and cannon. Because it's like harder to aim. Like this, it kind of lines up like in a perfect polygonal manner. Whereas that is just kind of a mess. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Yeah, let's see your true form now. Your giant cube form, Andros. <laughs> With this game's only semblance of texture mapping right there. <laughs> Good times. Draws blows, son. Ah. There we go. Time to attack the freaking polygons. Here we go. So I do is like nuke him once and he's gone pretty much. He explodes into a bunch of tiny little cards. Okay, he's a wuss. This is just a really cool little ending cutscene. And what's really cool is you can actually lose your ships, your other ships, you know, and they won't be in the cutscene if you lose them. Really cool. Yeah, my stage six score sucked. <laughs> what can you do? So, uh, Star Fox sounds like a nerd there, and then Pepper sounds like the freaking guy from Power Rangers, the Zoltan or whatever his name was. But, <laughs> so yeah, that was um, Star Fox, the original, uh, the easy path, you know, the path one or whatever it's called. Um, excellent game. I might check out the other ones and see how I do with those. So, guys, gosh, I can't talk today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this Let's Play, of course. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, sub, all that good stuff if you want. And share it with your friends. So, I'm going to let this uh, little cutscene close out. So, I'm out. But, till then, Dow Phoenix out.